Hey friend, I'm Danny Irizarry. Welcome to my actor log. Today we're going to be talking about how to make a reel. Uh, some actors just go and have their reel done by a professional, which is probably the safest way to go, but also the more expensive way to go. It's a lot cheaper if you can just do it on your computer on iMovie or Windows Movie Maker. So that's what we're going to be doing today, putting together a reel from uh, past footage that you have from different projects that you've done. So. You're going to open up your iMovie and create a new project. It's just that panel right there. You want to create a movie. And already you've got your timeline here and you've got, you're going to drag your clips into this section up here. And then once, once they're downloaded or once they're put in there, then you're going to drag them into your timeline. And this is what's going to be playing. So here it is, Shablam, my external hard drive. This has all my acting, everything, and a whole bunch of other things. Uh, a lot of my stuff for Actualog, too, actually, is on this external hard drive. So I'm going to plug that in. I'm actually and I'm going to make this page full screen by hitting that green button in the corner. I don't know what your, your level of how familiar you are with iMovie, and if you are really familiar with it, bear with my, my explaining everything. But uh, if you don't understand, I hope that helps. So the, I'm going to go to my folder. And I'm going to go to acting, and I'm going to grab I'm going to grab any footage that I want to put into my reel. Now, usually your reel should be at between between one and five minutes. You should definitely aim for the lower end, uh, especially if you're paying per minute on different websites. Uh, different casting websites will ha will require you to pay a certain amount for every minute of your reel that's that you upload. If you're looking for casting websites, by the way, check out this video that I did with uh, Beck. Link is in the description. That uh, we cover a list of a lot of websites that can help you find roles, but you wanna you wanna make sure that your your reel is as short as possible. Firstly, because it saves it is a lot less expensive that way, and secondly, because a casting director's a casting director's time is valuable. A director's time is valuable, and likely they're not going to watch more than a minute or two of your reel. So you need to also start out with a bang. You need to start out with your biggest project. Start out with something that that showcases your acting and looks professional. So I've got all my footage here. I'm probably going to end up with four or five clips altogether in my reel. So let's let's open that up. I'm going to start with uh, my my Yup commercial. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to take that file and drag it into my timeline here. Now I clicked on the my movie here. This is where all the all the footage that you you have in this in this video is going to be held in this section up here. I'm going to just play through it and make sure that everything is, is sounding good and looking good. Don't mess up. Huh? Better pick the right bottle. So many choices. So everything seems to be in order. I'm gonna find the 30 seconds, 15 seconds preferably, even down to 10 seconds that I wanna keep of this clip. An important thing to remember is that the point of a reel is not to tell the story, it's to showcase your acting. So the casting director doesn't need to know the context of the commercial, the context of the short film, the context of your feature film that you're putting in your reel. It just needs to be 15 seconds where they can see a powerful moment of your acting. So I'm going to try this clip here. I'm also lactose free. All right, you convinced me. I like that there at the end. And ending this at the end of the commercial is a good way to do it. You also want to make sure that the clip starts on your face, just because right from the get-go they want to be seeing your acting. So let's see. I may may even start with over here. You? Yep. Why? I've got more protein and less sugar than all these other bottles. You're also allowed to re-edit things. If, you're, if you are pretty proficient at editing, this is... This is where it's your time to shine. Make sure that it's as much of you as possible and you're getting it in there as quickly as possible. So I think I'm going to take this clip here. You? Yep. Why? I'm going to take that and I'm going to cut out this by hitting Command B. That gets that splits the clip and I'm just going to delete everything, all this before it. So it starts with... You? Yep. Why? I'm going to let it keep playing because you want to still make it seem like it's a it flows normally. I've got more protein and less sugar than all these other bottles. And there's there's one one section that I can probably use, so I'm going to cut that there. Plus, I taste great, too. You got anything else? Not to brag, but I'm also lactose-free. I probably don't need any of that, so I'm going to cut all of that out by, again, hitting Command-B, and then deleting 
that portion there. To play, you just hit spacebar, and you can hit spacebar again to stop it from playing. All right, you convinced me. Nice lips. Don't make this awkward. And I can probably end it right there. It fades to white, so I can probably end with don't make this awkward and just cut that there and get rid of everything else. So this doesn't look quite right, because take a look at this. You? Yep. Why? I've got more protein and less sugar than all these other bottles. All right, you convinced me. That doesn't quite flow, but here's what you can do, because there is that second of, all right, you of silence at the beginning. All right, you convinced me. Right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this clip and I'm going to put it on top of the other clip like that. So they overlap a little bit. Sugar than all these other bottles. All right, you convinced me. And that way it flows a little bit more smoothly, but you see mostly my face and this is a, a total of 12 seconds of, of that clip. And they can see my acting, but they can also see that I've been in a project. So all together it should look about like this. You? Yep. Why? I've got more protein and less sugar than all these other bottles. All right, you convinced me. I'm also going to take this this little uh, circle right there. If I hover over it, click and drag inward, that fades the, the sound in a little bit. So it's not an abrupt, abrupt jump, and it sounds just a little bit more a little bit more smooth. Other bottles. All right, you convinced me. Nice lips. Don't make this awkward. There we go. We've already finished the first clip in our reel. Uh, four more to go. We'll say we'll say we'll use five clips in this. So four more clips to go. I started off with something that was a professional project that I worked on, and I'm happy with the act acting, and it's a fun clip. So that was a good one to start with. Uh, then I'm going to go find, I worked on a, a student film. I'm going to find the clip that I want. I'm looking for a clip, one of my favorite scenes is when there's a, one of the first conversations between my character and my father's character. Uh, it's a nice, it's, it's a long clip and it has some good acting, but there's, there's a little, there's an element in there that I will be able to keep. The clip that I want probably starts around here. Let's take a look. That's a really long pause there of, of silent acting, but it doesn't do me much good, so I'm probably going to start it here. So I'm going to hit Command B again, delete all of this, all the highlighted portion, and so it should start about here. Ty's going to this college info session thing. And he wants me to tag along. Why? He doesn't want to go on his own, I guess. And that's probably a good place to stop it. There's a little bit more in there, a little more silent acting that I, I'll keep, but not too much. Again, that's another 10 or 15 second clip. I'm going to start it right about there, where it starts on my face, so they know, again, that they're looking right at my acting and that I'm in this. Ty's going to this college info session thing, and he wants me to tag along. Why? doesn't want to go on his own, I guess. And then that's all I need, so I'm going to delete everything else that I have there. So now, uh, the, only, the next thing I have to make sure that I do is I make sure that the sound is about on the same level, because you don't want to get the casting directors angry because all of a sudden you've blown out their speakers or they're listening to something really quiet and all of a sudden it's really loud. So let's listen to this and make sure it's about the same level. Don't make this awkward. Ty's going to this. So the first clip is a little bit louder. So I'm going to just take this sound here and I'm going to drag it up just a little bit. I'm going to make sure that eh, it's giving me some trouble here. There we go. I'm going to drag it maybe to 200%. Ty's going to this college info session thing. And that'll flow nice and smooth. So we have 30 seconds here already with two clips. Let's keep on moving and see what else we can put in there. The rest of it is a lot of the same. So I'm just going to cut this shorter, see what I can do, see what I can do to compact everything, and then we'll move on to the next clips. Now, this is going to be tricky because if you listen for a second, if you watch, the sound comes before you see me. Either you are completely alone or you just look really sad, right? So you hear me before you see me. So that's going to be a little bit tricky to cut around, but we'll figure it out. So we'll cut it there, Command B, and delete everything before that, and then find where we want it to end. What's going on, Aiden? Are you okay? 
There we go, and that's where we want it to end, and then we'll cut around a little bit. So that's a 12 second clip there. So what I'm probably going to have to do is I'm probably going to have to do the same thing, except have, have the sound from this clip appear, start in this clip. So we'll, we'll see how to do that. We'll hit, we'll right click it and click a detach audio. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this, drag this in a bit until I see my face. There we go. So I start right there. I'm going to take the audio and then bring it back to where it clicks into place right about there. So it lines up and it should sound just about right. Peter, you are completely I'm going to cut that a little bit shorter because it comes in too soon. And then it's going to sound like this. Peter, you are completely alone or you just look really sad right now. I, I can't tell. I've never seen this look on your face. So I probably don't want to end on this clip because if you'll notice, the clip ends on his face. Uh, not that I didn't love this actor, Holden. He was he was great. He's awesome. He did a great job in this project, but this is my reel, and so it should be focusing on me. So I'm going to take this clip, these two clips, and I'm just going to drag them before before this clip here. Okay, that's a shame. The sound isn't coming with, so I'm just going to have to drag that and line it up there, just like that, and that should work the same. Either you are completely... He doesn't want to go on his own, I guess. Either you are completely alone, or you just look really sad, or I, I can't tell. I've never seen this look on your face. So that is... Those are four clips right there. Just one more. Let's see what else we can add in there. And if you don't have anything else that works or that you want to add in there, don't put it in. Leave it out. Uh, and leave it just short. Short and sweet is better than, than dragging on. If you look at my reel from 2017, that's it's kind of painful. It 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 lasts for way too long, and the the first scene is far too long. And that I believe is five clips, and that's all. That's a minute and five seconds. So the last things that you'd end up doing are compressing, just making sure that you don't have any any extra time in there that you can get rid of. So I'm going to do now, and then we're going to do the very last thing, which is adding a title, adding your title and your contact information at the very beginning. So we're going to compact everything and then add that title. So just watch through the whole thing. I really don't see any extra extra footage in there that I don't need. So we're going to move on to the title clip. So what you're probably wanting to, going to do is, or what you're probably going to want to do is uh, go to go online and find just a picture of a, a blank white or blank black something. So I am going to go to the internet. I am going to type just black b l a c k black images. And there we go. First couple of things are exactly what I'm looking for, just a black screen. So what you can do is you can right click it, click save image as, and there we go. You can just save it as black and that'll save to your downloads folder. And you go over to your downloads folder right there, downloads, and take that clip black again. Make sure that you have iMovie right there. And you just drag it over and put it right at the beginning. So it says there in the corner that it's four seconds. We probably don't want four seconds because that's pretty long. We can probably just do two seconds even. So we'll drag it back to two seconds there. So you've got two seconds and then and then your reel starts. So what you do now is you're going to go over to your titles right up there and you are going to find one that that is as simple as possible so it doesn't have a whole bunch of frills and and unique things you know you don't want to have something that pops up like that just because it's distracting and unnecessary centered is the one that you you probably want and to take centered and you're going to put it over that black that black clip and make sure that it's the same length by clicking on it and dragging in the end so it's going to say just title right now that's the only thing it's going to say but you can type in here and i'm going to type my name Danny Irizari. I'm going to, then underneath that, I'm going to type actor, model, singer. And probably put, I um, actually don't know what these are called, but uh, bullet points in, in between them. If there is an official name for these, comment and let me know. And then I'm going to change the font so that that's all on this, or the uh, size rather, so that's all on the same line. It's a little bit small, so about there. And then 
Underneath that, I would put my contact information and my agency's contact information, and it's your choice how you want to arrange that so it looks right on the page. So then you'd have John Doe at gmail.com and your phone number one two three four five six seven eight nine one let's say that is your phone number and you can again make that look however you want you can make them all the same size or have them different sizes it's really up to you and then you're pretty much all set so it, you're real then that is just a real quick way <laughs> really a really quick way to throw throw together a reel that looks professional and doesn't take up too much time. Again, if you have more clips that you want to put in there, throw them in. Try and keep it. I would suggest trying keeping it under two minutes, just because you don't want you don't want the casting director to be sitting there, just you know, grab, having a bowl of popcorn and and watching your reel like a movie because they're not going to sit through the entire thing. The last couple of things that I would mention are now isn't the time to to do a whole bunch of camera tricks and editing tricks and show off how good you are at editing or how how exciting this new font is. Really, all you're doing is showing off your acting. Another thing that I heard is it should be like a trailer for you. You don't need to tell them any story. You just need to show them your acting, your emotion. So just like a trailer has two second clips right next to each other, just bam, 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 especially action movie uh, trailers. Your, your reel is essentially your trailer. It should be very similar. Just a whole bunch of real quick clips right next to each other. And that's what we've accomplished. So this is our final product. I think, I think it looks pretty good, and I, wouldn't, I, I would be pretty happy sending this to a casting director and having them look at it and, and see my work. If you do have the capability to do one more thing to your title card, if you will, uh, if you have a headshot that you can put in there and arrange nicely so it looks good, I would say do that just so that they can see your face right from the beginning as well, so the first thing they see isn't just your information. But if that's all you, all you have the opportunity to give them, that's, that's plenty. That's all they need. They really just need to be able to contact you, and they're going to see your face in the future. So don't, don't be concerned if you, if you don't have a headshot that you're going to put right at the beginning. There we go. That looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. And this is our final product. You? Yep. Why? I've got more protein and less sugar than all these other bottles. All right, you convinced me. Nice lips. <laughs> Don't make this awkward. Ty's going to this college info session thing. And he wants me to tag along. Why? He doesn't want to go on his own, I guess. You know, if you, uh, you want it, it's yours. Are you serious? Yeah, you know, um, I was gonna get a new one anyways, so go for it. Thank you. Sure. My aunt watches me. Where was she? She was asleep. She goes to bed early. So that's it for this video. I hope this helped. I hope you have a better understanding of reels and how to put them together now. If you have any suggestions or any questions, please give me a comment, send me a message on Snapchat or Facebook, send me an email, or you can now contact me through my new Instagram. I finally have an Instagram. Hooray. So uh, follow me on Instagram so that we can chat and I can see your posts and you can see my posts and we'll have a party, an acting party. Uh, that's that's about it. Uh, I'm really excited that we were able to put this together and I, I'd feel pretty good about sending this to an agent. So, or an agent a manager, a uh, casting director, anyone that you would send a reel to, this is a pretty solid reel. So, those are all the things to remember. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Danny Irizarry out. Don't forget to stay in character. I can't, I can't remember to put that before I sign out. Don't forget to stay in character. Danny out. <laughs>